Hello guys, hi, I'm Mahar Afzal here again as a teacher of strategic financial management. By profession, I'm a chartered accountant, member of Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan, as well as member of Institute of Chartered Accountants of England and Wales. For six years, I was teaching strategic financial management to CAs and ACCAs in Dubai. I was teaching financial management to MBAs as well. In continuation of our e-learning program, Today, we are launching lectures of strategic financial management. As we discussed earlier, in the short run, we will be providing recorded lectures, but in the long run, we will have online classes. Our reference books for this class. Our reference books will be BPP ACCA books, F9 and P4. So we'll be referring these books and we will be referring books from different other authors as well. So who can take the maximum benefit from these lectures? The students of ACCA, the students of CA and the professionals who are working in the market. So let's start it. What is financial management? What is the objective of financial management? Generally, there are two types of organizations, commercial organization and non-profit organizations. Non-profit organizations usually are government entities and charities. The primary objective of the government entities and charities is public welfare. The primary objective is not to maximize the wealth of the shareholder. On the other hand, commercial organization, the corporate objectives of the commercial organizations are financial objectives and non-financial objectives. So there are two objectives of the commercial organizations. One is the financial objective, second is the non-financial objective. Financial objective means to maximize the wealth of the shareholder. On the other hand, non-financial objectives are welfare of the employee, welfare of the management, quality of services, customer satisfaction suppliers happiness, welfare of the society, growth, diversification, all these are the non-financial objective. These non-financial objectives are always helping organization to achieve the financial objectives in the long run. And our core discussion in this subject will be on the financial objective and related decisions. So whenever organizations is setting the financial objectives organization is developing the financial strategy to achieve the financial objectives so i can say this financial strategy is always part of the corporate strategy so whenever organization is developing the financial strategy organization is setting the financial targets organization is setting financial targets then organization is developing financial strategy organizations are is implementing financial strategy and controlling the results of the implementation of the strategy this process of financial management is called financial planning and financial control so by definition we can say financial management management of finances of an organization to achieve the financial objectives and we know the primary objectives of the commercial organization is to maximize the wealth of the shareholder so while doing the financial planning the organizations are doing short term planning medium term planning and long term planning so in the short term planning in the short term planning they are managing working capital in the medium term and long term planning they are managing the non current assets and their the key decision related to investment appraisal cost of capital international investment mergers and demergers once they are implementing the decision they are controlling the decisions as well so compare the actual results with the forecast result taking corrective actions one very important to discuss here Whenever the organization is formulating financial strategy, usually finance managers, finance people, they are advising to the board related to three key decisions, investment decisions, financing decisions and dividend decisions. In the investment decisions, 
they take the decision they are helpful to make the decision which investment should be undertaken and which investment should not be undertaken in the financing decision they are advising what should be the fine sources of finance and how can we reduce the cost of capital to the minimum in the dividend decision they are helping whatever the profit organization is earning how much profit required to be retained by the entity and how much profit required to be distributed among the shareholders as a dividend so in the financing decisions we will learn investment decision accounting rate of return payback period net present value internal rate of return sensitivity and probability analysis lease and buyer decisions asset replacement and capital rationing while in the financing decision we will go through sources of finance capital structure how much should be the de ratio where the profit of the organization should be maximum there are different approaches there are traditional approach mm theory then cost of capital we will learn how to calculate the cost of capital in the dividend decision we will see retentions or dividend cash dividend or script dividend dividend policy as well as constant payout ratio what should be the mode of the dividend we will discuss all these things in the dividend decisions i would like to say there are three other factors also basically whenever the finance managers are advising to take the investing financing and dividend decisions so they are liable to manage the risk also so we will say what are the risks involved in the entity and how can we mitigate the risk so we'll see foreign currency risk interest rate risk and international investment also we'll discuss over here and we will discuss what are the risks over there hedging techniques as well in the valuation we will see business valuations and market efficiency all these factors we will discuss under the valuations and the last one i would like to say there is acquisitions there is a merger reconstruction all decision related to acquisitions merger and reconstruction we'll discuss this was the overall view of the syllabus and thank you very much for joining us i am pretty sure it will be a very good session a lot of learning for you thank you very much for joining us thank you